Information can disrupt how you perceive the world. Less than a mile south of Creighton, two black men were lynched in front of the Douglas County Courthouse. Crowds amassed in the tens of thousands to watch the two men be hanged, shot, burned, and dragged. The first was Joe Coe in 1891. The second, Will Brown in 1919. In 1920, the population of African Americans in, in Omaha nearly doubled. In response, bank bankers, landlords, real estate, and insurance agencies imposed redlining rules to effectively prohibit black and brown residents from living outside of the near north side, now known today as North Omaha. Using color code and letter grade, proprietors labeled areas from best to hazardous. North Omaha was shaded red, given a D, and marked as a hazard. This graphic shows the redlining boundaries atop the percentage of non-white households in Omaha per the latest census data. From 1920, the list of injustice grew long, and so did the road to liberation. In 1925, Malcolm Little, later to be known as Malcolm X, was born at 3448 Pinckney Street. In 1938, Mildred D. Brown founded the Omaha Star to cover civic issues and positive news as it pertained to the black community. The Star would go on to be the oldest, first, and only black-owned newspaper in the United States to be founded by a woman. In 1947, Father John Marcoux and student Daniel Holland founded the DePores Club to address race relations on Creighton's campus. 1948, the DePores Club was kicked off of campus for being too controversial after organizing numerous boycotts. They would go on to meet at the Omaha Star offices. 1952, the DePores Club, with help of Mildred D. Brown, led a two-year bus boycott until the Omaha Council Bluffs Railway Company agreed to hire blacks. 1966 to 69, civil unrest ravaged the North Side. In response to brutal poverty, the assassination of Dr. King, the police shooting of 14-year-old Vivian Strong, among other things. The aftermath left buildings burnt and eventually demolished. 1978, Highway 75 and the North Freeway were built and literally cut North Omaha in half. I share this information, I share this history with you because the stories of our past directly inform our present and future. The idea that some people's rights or needs are lesser is still prevalent today, and that must change. Information can disrupt injustice. The Omaha Star was founded with a mission of encouraging people to resist the unjust treatment of their personhood in the fight for true equity. We all share in the human experience, yet we all have a unique story to tell. When we reveal our perspectives in an accessible way, we encourage empathy, compassion, and action. With the help of Internews and the Listening Post Collective, North Omaha is able to do just this. After the completion of an information ecosystem assessment, establishing a list of assets and challenges, a team of communicators came together to devise a team of communicators, including myself, the Omaha Star, Mildred D. Brown Memorial Study Center, 101.3 FM, Mind and Soul, and The Reader came together to devise a new approach to getting people information they can use by people they can trust, culminating in the creation of noise. North Omaha information support everyone. We pull from history, direct feedback from our neighbors, creativity, and modern technology to deliver 
information relevant to people's everyday lives in an effort to reclaim and inform this, the narrative of North Omaha. Inspired by the tenacity of Mildred D. Brown, the DePores Club, and numerous changemakers in our history and present day, noise is reinvigorating information sharing for the modern age. I am proud to announce that the first print installment of Noise is available in the April 20th edition of the Omaha Star today. As well as the launch of our text space alert system, powered by Texi Tours, covering everything from local government, the new construction, to prominent figures, arts and culture, and community events. Noise. Noise is bringing people news they can truly use to change the world. You can follow Noise on social media at Noise Omaha, visit our mobile only site at noiseomaha.com, or text or call 402 807 5076. As a grassroots organization, our mission is carried forth by people for people. And you can contribute by sharing this talk or contributing resources, fiscal or otherwise. Information is most powerful in the hands of the masses. So let's make noise. <laughs>